Hello, welcome. Good morning, good day, good evening. Today, we are here to talk about innovating healthcare, a strategic approach from Emory University Goizueta Business School. Welcome. Thank you. As we get started, please feel free to enter your name and country in the chat box and make sure that your response is set to everyone. During the session, if you have any questions, please use the Q&A box for your questions. Thank you. Let's get into it. Today, uh, we are joined by Charles Getz. He's the Associate Professor in the Practice of Organization and Management, and he happens to be a serial entrepreneur. He's with Emory University Goizueta School of Business. Charles, welcome. We are honored to have you today. And I am Ranil Herat. I'm the president healthcare of Emeritus, who partners with Emory in creating these world-class Thank programs. you very much. I look forward to it. Wonderful. Let's go to the next slide. So folks, the agenda today is we'll do a quick overview of the speakers. We'll talk about Emory University, then about program faculty. We will speak a little bit about the program and then dig into the program outlines. And we'll talk about the different modules in the program. Then we will talk overall about the highlights of the program, admissions, fees, and then we'll move on to questions you might have and next steps. So I'm looking forward to getting into it. Let's, let's go to the next slide. All right, let's start with Emory University. Most of you are familiar with Emory, but let me give you a couple of highlights that personally excites me about this fabulous university. Emory University is where business meets healthcare. It brings together world-renowned business education and unparalleled leadership in healthcare, including clinical care, medical education, and pace setting research. It's uniquely positioned to make a difference with its own integrated academic healthcare system and health sciences center that is pioneering health research. Goizueta Business School was founded more than a century ago and provides hands-on education for today's global business environment. Emory Executive Education extends Goizueta Business School's thought leadership to high achieving executives seeking to impact and advance their careers. We move on to the next slide. There are a couple of uh, things that we are going to highlight here that really comes together when it comes to this particular program. Emory brings in different facets into the program. One, let's talk about Emory legacy. Emory Healthcare, it's a clinical enterprise of the Woodruff Health Sciences Center, the most extensive healthcare system in Georgia. So it has 11 hospitals, the Emory Clinic, and more than 250 provider locations. So it, that's the health system. Then you have the physician network. Now that extends to 2,800 physicians in 70 different subspecialties. So you have the expertise of the health system, the physician network. Now bringing the multidisciplinary, Emory School of Medicine has focus areas spanning more than 25 disciplines in basic clinical sciences, providing broad expertise in every area of modern medicine. Now, the school is also very involved with the industry. So Woodruff Health Science Center has invested more than $600 million to advance scientific investigations, research, and are in current cutting edge of the technology. Let's go to the next slide. And for this particular program, the program, we are joined here today by the program faculty, Charles Getz. Charles Getz joined Goizueta Business School in 2001. Uh, prior to Emory, he spent more than 15 years developing, implementing, and growing entrepreneurial ventures. To date, Getz has been responsible for starting and building nine ventures and delving, delivering results and returns to investors that in many cases far exceeded the initial investment expectations. So here with us, we have somebody who not only has been 
in academia and teaching business leaders, but also somebody who has practiced it, who have started businesses, grown businesses, and innovated in that space. So we are really lucky to have him. Now, his companies operated in six industries. So what I like about this is it's not insular to healthcare. We bring the best thought leadership from multiple industries when we are talking about innovation. And this is important more so to innovation than probably any other topic for us to be open and know what are the best practices and what's working in different industries. So uh, Charles, uh, in his uh, previous operations, included industries, not only healthcare, but financial, radio broadcasting, sports, fast food, and advertising. He has been awarded three patents and new, numerous copyrights. Uh, Charles is still actively involved in investing in his businesses and sits on both private and best private business as well as nonprofit boards. So we are really lucky to have him as our professor. And also we are very lucky to have him today to speak about the program. Let's go to the next slide. And here, this is where I really want, very been looking forward to uh, asking Charles to come and speak about the program, give us an overview, take us to, through the modules and share uh, more of your narrative on why this program, why now and uh, what impact this could have. Charlie, we are honored to have you. Renil, thank you so very much. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. I wanted to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day to everyone who's listening. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thomas Edison said it best. There is always a way to do it better. Find it. Innovation is changing the world. It doesn't matter what field you're in, as every industry is changing at a faster and faster pace each and every year. And if you or your organization are unable to keep up with it, competitors are gonna leave you behind. And not only your present competitors, but totally new ones that you've never saw coming at all. The healthcare industry is no different. And it's just not artificial intelligence that is changing everything. Innovation is more than just creating new products or using new technologies. It's about solving problems, managing people, enhancing patient care, and doing more with less. Innovational training is no longer a nice to have. It is an essential element for leading change. Change is coming. You can be the one that helps drive it, or you can wait as you and your organization gets run over by it. Our program has been designed to take you on an innovational journey from totally understanding the problem to creating new solutions or concepts, then testing those solutions or concepts in the market or your organization then designing and building the products and solutions that you are, have created, then implementing it in the market, and then our goal is to help you think more innovatively. To do this, we will be leveraging both best practices and new tools and tactics to help you on your journey. We will be integrating healthcare examples as much as possible to make the innovation process even more relatable. Just so you know, the skills you learn in this program are not just limited to the innovation process itself. In fact, many of the lessons you learn in this program, you will be able to apply immediately to what you're doing today and every day. Consequently, our goal is to provide you with new tools, tactics, and frameworks to help you now and in the future. With that, let's discuss the six modules. 
that we have developed for you specifically for you. Module one, creative thinking. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment and talk to you about the difference between creativity and innovation. Here's the way I'd like to explain it. Creativity is a process for thinking up new solutions to problems, needs, and opportunities. While innovation is taking that creative idea and testing it, improving on it until it's a viable solution that can be successfully implemented in the real world. In a recent and much referenced study conducted by IBM Global of over 1,500 CEOs worldwide, in many different industries, creativity was overwhelmingly found to be the number one most important leadership quality for success. We will show how creativity can open your mind and enable you to see what can be and how to solve difficult or what even appears to be unsolvable problems. Creativity has been proven to boost people's confidence. In addition, creative people have been shown to be happier people as they no longer are confined to the status quo. Think about it. Do you see yourself as creative? In reality, only a very small percentage of people really think they are creative. We start our program by discussing creativity because that is where all innovation begins. You may or may not think of yourself as creative, but I promise you, by the end of this program, with our exercises, strategies, and examples, you will learn to become much more creative. In module two, asking questions okay, is your new superpower. We will focus on how to gather better and more reliable information to generate more effective solutions through asking better questions and by using a more productive questioning methodology that we will discuss. This process will help you to be able to identify the most important reasons and causes behind each and every problem. Armed with this information, you will be able to develop more effective solutions quicker and easier. Most answers people give to questions are not well thought out. They're missing key information. They're saying what they think you want to hear. And frequently, they are biased. And here's the thing that's most important. Most people asking these questions have no idea that this is the case. Therefore, we will discuss the reasons for why people don't ask good questions and then provide you with a comprehensive approach that will enable you to ask better questions, which also makes you stand out. In module three, your innovation roadmap. Most people think innovation is difficult and consequently are scared of it. After all, change can be daunting to many people. However, once you understand the process and how easy it really is to use, you will no longer find it intimidating. In fact, you will see for yourself how innovation doesn't have to be hard to be successful. Our goal for this module is to provide you with an overview of the whole innovation process. We will begin by presenting the tips, tactics, and tools that you will need for identifying, 
prioritizing, and for better understanding a problem or need. Then we will provide you with strategies that you can use to develop new solutions, all with the goal of helping you to develop better products, services, or processes quickly, easily, and more effectively. In fact, you will learn how easy it is to develop a totally new and valuable product in just minutes. And yes, I'm serious, you'll be able to come up with a totally new product in just minutes. Armed with this new solution and proof that the market finds it beneficial, we will complete this module by showing you how to increase the value of your solution, product, service, or process. In module four, we're gonna talk about innovation at work. We open this session with the final stage of the innovation process, the implementation phase. The implementation phase only relates to solutions that are products, services, or processes. It is not uncommon for products, services, or processes to be launched into the market prior, to be prior to a thorough analysis of the most common risk factors to a new product success. And it frequently results in failure. Consequently, we will present you with a systematic approach that will minimize high probability risks, which in turn will increase your probability for a successful solution. In module five, implementation strategies that drive success. In this module, you will discover that even great products, services and processes can fail with while mediocre ones can still be successful. As the key to a successful business is much more than just a good product or service by itself. While the company may have done everything to maximize the value, it may have done a poor job in the actual launching of the business in the market. And this is the reason why we're going to discuss which factors are essential for creating a successful product and for launching a successful business. In this module, you will learn what successful businesses do differently than their less successful peers in marketing and sales. This includes tactics you can use. Tactics like how to create a good message that generates awareness and drives interest. Develop a powerful story that sets your product and your business apart from others and motivates them to learn more. We're gonna design, show you how to design a stimulating presentation that persuades people to take action or to buy. In addition, we will end this module by providing you with proven tips on how effectively to handle people's objections. By the way, they really work well. And once you use them, you're going to be excited to see just how well they work. In module six, problem solving strategies, almost every business at some point has or will have a crisis, a problem that is so severe that it can put the whole business out of business. Therefore, we're going to show you how to handle even the most difficult problems. We will begin our final module by presenting you with three famous company crises, problems that at first look totally unsolvable. And then we're going to discuss strategies that each of these CEOs use to save their business. Then we will provide you with the tools that you can use to better handle any future crisis that may someday 
come knocking on your door. Then we will finish up by discussing how to make you a star by increasing the effectiveness of every presentation you make. The reason for this is because overwhelming majority of presentations that senior management makes barely keeps their audience's attention and rarely achieves their objectives. I promise with these tips, your presentations will stand out and drive action. I hope that gives you all a quick overview of what we will be discussing. And thank you very much. Shreenil? That's great. That was really energizing, Charlie. Thank you very much. Uh, I loved how you took us through the overview. I'm, I'm excited for this program even more so, more so than when we started uh, developing this with you. All right. So a um, few other important factors for the program. Um, each week, there will be a playbook activity that will uh, cultivate the learning concepts and prepares you for the final project. So this kind of helps you keep tabs on what you're learning each week in a practical sense. Uh, and at the end, uh, there will be a capstone project. Now, this gets really interesting, and I'm sure all of you would be uh, excited and looking forward to the capstone because this is where you get to bring together everything you learned in this program, all the cool concepts that Charlie spoke about during the session today, and you will obviously learn much more detail week by week through this program, bring it all together into a practical application. What's even more exciting is you can bring the um, real world problem that you have identified and work on it in the program, and you could have a solution uh, as a part of this capstone. So this is one of my favorite parts of the program. And uh, I'm sure for most of you, it would likely be uh, a favorite part of the program as well. All right, what's next? Um, learning experience. So beyond the uh, academic program, obviously we went uh, in detail of the program, well, how we deliver it. Um, expert faculty, we spoke about the faculty and that brings in the expert uh, industry expertise, not only from healthcare, but really keep it fresh, bringing it from multiple industries. The capstone project where you bring in all of your learnings into a hands-on application, into a real world problem that you can bring and solve with your classmates and with your professor. Um, and you get individualized feedback. Uh, here, this is very important because you will get feedback from program leaders, on the playbook, on the assignments, on an ongoing basis. Now, uh, that ties into uh, weekly office hours that the uh, program leaders have. So you can schedule time or you can drop in during their office hours virtually, get feedback. Um, another really important factor in these programs is peer learning. The incredible amount of expertise and knowledge, experiences that are brought in by others who join the program. So there is as much learning from your peers and what problems they're solving for and seeing and observing what challenges they're facing, what's common, what's different. That learning is going to be incredible. And on top of the learning, it's, it's just fun. You just expand your network, get to know folks from around the world, from different industries, and you make lasting and trusting relationships as well as contacts. Down the road, you may have a challenge and you might think, hey, this guy in my class who is from this industry doing X, Y, Z, he's a great person to reach out to. Uh, and that's that becomes an ongoing network and resource for you. Then um, obviously proprietary frameworks, there is like great set of frameworks that will be discussed. It's a given, uh, that's uh, an Emory program. It's the kind of work that uh, a professor gets does along with uh, Emory. So I'm excited for that. And I'm also excited for the certificate you get at the end from Emory, one of the best universities out there. And uh, you, you get to have that certificate in innovation in healthcare, something much needed. So all in all, these are some area things that I wanted to highlight, which are super exciting for me personally. And I know from this and other programs, these are the areas that we here are uh, exciting for the participants. All right, what's next? We covered uh, some of the learning outcomes, but let me um, 
hit on some of the important ones. So discuss obviously the potential impact of innovative solutions on the healthcare industry. Uh, use inquiry and strategic frameworks to identify, how do you identify need gaps and create opportunities for innovation? Just putting some structure around, it really helps you to think of this as, what are the problems, how do we solve? So it kind of getting your mental framework uh, so you get wired in a way that you get to identify uh, potential areas that you can innovate in. The next one is communicating effectively with your stakeholders. Who are your stakeholders? How be best to structure your messaging and communication? So one, you get heard. Two, you're understood. And, uh, and, and you, you have a chance to speak about places that you can innovate. Then about assessing and prioritizing innovative pro innovation projects based on how you tie that to objectives of your organization and available resources because the most innovative idea may not be timely right now, depending on the context. So it's important that you learn how to prioritize that. Um, and finally, how do, you, how do you build a business case for healthcare innovation that accounts for financial, operational, and strategic factors? Today, more than ever, healthcare is pressured financially. Coming out of the pandemic, many hospitals are challenged with budgets. So that gives a great opportunity for us to innovate. Now, the counter to that is, it's also financially challenging. So it's a great time to innovate and it's absolutely needed, but you have to be innovative about how to think of innovation in extremely challenged circumstances. So we are challenged to come up with even better solutions. So it's an exciting time overall. And this is why this is, an extremely timely topic for us to be not only familiar, but master. Moving on to next. Who is this program for? I would say pretty much anybody who wants to have a successful career, but that's kind of too broad, but it is true, but let me narrow it down. So this is for healthcare professionals who are working in clinical or non-clinical settings, who are seeking practical ways to make innovation both big and small, either in function or in the organization. This could be as simple as a patient's check-in process. It could be as simple as the experience of a patient at discharge, or it could be as complex as an entire procedure or a process that you use. This is also for professionals who are outside of healthcare delivery. This is not only for healthcare delivery. It could be for payers, pharma, biotech, life sciences, clinical trials. The program is focused towards healthcare as a broader healthcare industry, which includes pharma, biotech, life sciences, government, healthcare policy, all of those areas. So, Anybody who is interested in learning, how can you innovate from something very small or even to something very complex? The process and the concepts are the same. So that's who the program is for. Let's go to the next slide. Certificate, uh, that's a certificate you get at the end of the program. Um, Innovating Healthcare Strategic Approach from Emory Goizueta Business School. And as next steps, what I would suggest is you could schedule a call with an advisor. Please click on the link that you see here and you can apply for the program. There are program links as well for both um, scheduling a call to get more information as well as apply for the program. In addition, if you are an organization and looking for organizational uh, solutions in how you can have a team approach to train your organizational employees, you can also contact us uh, to create custom or uh, tailored solutions for your organization uh, from Emory uh, in this topic. Folks, that's all we have for today. 
Uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us and spending some time to learn about how we can uh, together uh, expand innovation and help more innovation in healthcare. And I want to thank uh, Professor Charles Getz for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Charlie, and uh, I enjoyed our conversation. And thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining.